sorry, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> Man, imagine being late to your own video. This next thing I'm gonna say is no lie at all. I've spent the last two hours scrolling for games to play. I, I wanted to play like a one-off thing, you know, just a nice short indie horror game. This is basically what I got in return. Yeah, we got a black void, there is nothing, bro. Then I thought to myself, wait, what about if I was to play a random list of horror games that I find on itch.io? That might be good and might be terrible. Great random games time, yes, let's do it. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here. Yes, before anyone asks, I have went ahead and dyed my hair. I don't know why. I thought just, why not? I want to do something weird. This is another episode of Three Random Games. You guys know the deal. We play three games within the confinements of this singular video. We have fun. End intro, roll game number one. What just happened? This first game is called Romut, or I guess it's spelled backwards. Let me flip that screen. Chuba. Hey, get me in some of that thing. Destroy them all. Uh, okay, hold up. Listen, bro. I, I just came through this door trying to find something to do with my life. Like, what are you trying to get me to break? Like, my sanity even more so? All right, I'm gonna try and process what's going down here. We got a chair. It's interesting with the flashlight. Like, when you move your mouse up, it doesn't scroll the screen up straight away. It's like kind of delayed. Feels weird. Let's do this. Destroy them all. Not five chains on the wall. We got this door. Excuse me. Anyone home? Where's my ceiling at, bro? Like, I just woke up today and my ceiling was like, no, I'm not doing this, man. You get infinite void if you look up. What am I trying to do here? Guys, I have no idea what I'm playing. Ooh, very bassy with this game. We got earthquakes going on above us or something? Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Hey, 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 hang on a moment. Don't destroy the chains. Wait, I'm looping. One more time. Hello? Hey, come on, man. What's going on? The chair fell over. Hey, bro, trip that chair up. That weren't me. That weren't me. That weren't me. I didn't touch that chair, though. We can't open the door. Okay, what's going on here? Who's put me in this loop? Okay, my heart's beating. Well, what the hell, boy? Wait, what? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I can't open that door. There's a door on a door. Uh, sure. I got you. I got you. We can't open that door. Are we going back? Hold on, hold on. <sighs> Guys, what is going on? I don't know what I'm playing right now. I'm kind of spooked. Trail back, trail back. We are destroying something. Sometimes you have to plunge into darkness to get out of a closed loop. Press F. Listen, bro, if you wrote something else, how am I supposed to see it? I'm done. Whoa, hey, okay, this game's kind of cool. You see with that teleportation? This is a very vague game. Like, you just get dumped in this thing. Like, you want context? No? Oh, we got we got a light beaming on down here. All right, get me to the light. The warm embrace of a, whatever the freak this is, some kind of lamp flickering. All right, not so warm anymore. And the light is gone, guys. I'm, I'm piecing out of this thing, man. I'm done with this. Who built this house? What's with these strange dimensions? What's happening? Hold on. Uh, there, there. It'll be okay. Just as long as you're not a demon, because I have got a handgun in my back pocket. Hey, buddy, listen. Don't cry like that. Come on, man. Yo, what the freak am I looking at? Uh, we got, we got a skull. Give me that. <laughs> yo, he asked, what am I doing? He's like, yo, I just picked up a skull with a hand. What is wrong with me? I, I don't know, sir. I don't know. That was on you. That was your call. So what, we go back right now? Doors either side. No, 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 no. I'm trying here, guys. No prompt. We can't open that. What's that flickering light saying, huh? What's that flickering light saying? It's saying nothing. It's a light bulb. It has no mouth. This is, this is like atmospheric, but it's that level of atmospheric where it's like, why are you scared? Like, there's nothing here truly to scare you. It, it seems like we're just here alone. Hey, ceiling came back. Let's go. Door doesn't open. <sighs> Wait, is it the whole light thing again? Plunge into darkness. Boom. 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 Wait, what the heck? Uh, I kind of don't want to be in here. Boom. Boom. Whoa, this is a trippy concept for a game. What the heck? Look, everything's like canted on its side right now. This is weird. I can't, I can't see anything. Like, I, I actually can't see anything. I don't know what I'm doing. Yo, wait, what? What is happening with this game? What am I seeing? Is this like a tombstone or something? Hey, but I got you. Don't worry about that, man. Uh, you want me to place that skull back here somewhere? You want me to put it on your feet? Uh, guys, okay. All right, now I don't get what's happening. Now I'm really confused. Look, we're back here again. Right, I'm busting out, guys. I'm busting. I'm done with this place. We got pipes. What am I doing here? Like, this this game has not explained itself at all. This is a barren room, man. This is not what we need. Bro, refresh again. Okay, what is happening with this game? Uh, great, I'm back again. That's great. Thank you. What, what is... <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you know what? Let's stay in this universe. We got extraterrestrial crying, baby. Hey, there, there, kid. I'm coming with your bottle. Bottle probably filled with blood, though, you know? Go to the crying. 
There, there. Come on, demon kid. I'm sure it's not all that bad. Just want to open the door. Hey, bud! Stop your freaking crying now, so I'll come and stop it for you. Oh, number two. E. It, it doesn't make sense. What am I doing? Get me out of this one. Hey, sir. First face I've seen. No, no, no. Don't dip on me. Don't dip. Oh, come on, man. I ain't seen no one else. I thought I was finally going to get some answers here. Turn this. I, I don't know why I'm cranking this, but sure. Let's see what it does. Hey. 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 Oh, we're bringing it. Yes. Yes. When will it end? When you finally understand what's going on. I, I don't, don't get this game. game. All right. So we're back here. Um, is there something we can do in this world, this setting? I didn't see anything last time. I'll, I'll check one more time. 1872, 1991. Bro, they lived a long time. Get me out of this world, bro. I don't... Oh, we're in pillar rooms right now. Do I really go through this? Like, where do I go? I don't understand what's happening with this game. This game dev was really just out there. Like, we could put scary monster in... Nah, we, ju we just give him some columns, bro. Is, is it a maze or something? Did we find something at the end? It's generally some kind of linkage with the sound. And I'm not hearing anything in this world. So I don't know if there's meant to be a being or anything we can really find here. Wait, we hear that? Oh, we hear angry growling, buddy. Look at you, look at you. Okay, what the freak, look at this. Is it moving? It ain't, bro, give me that. I don't want, no, me, I don't want either, why? All right, so we refreshed the world a few times. I think, yo, this is the only one. Ah! Where am I? What am I doing? Why is my camera turned on and these lights on? Bro, jump scared me so hard. I just forgot my entire day. So this universe, this one has to be the one. There has to be something in the- Okay, we search these rooms top to bottom every single time and we find whatever relic is left in here. All right, big empty room. Big empty room. We see this with the elevator. Okay. Uh, going up, please. I, I need one more school for my collection. Then I, I will be out of your face for good. Bro, if there's something in the elevator, I'm swinging. I'm swinging. Hey, I ain't swinging for you. I'm collecting that five of five question mark. You, uh, listen, bud, you tell me. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe refresh again? Hold up. Hey, did so wait, did something just move? My eyes are so bad, I can't see a single thing. Did we do what we needed? I'm seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Let's go, let's go. Yes, the warmth and the embrace of a welcoming summer's day. Mm. Yes. We did it, guys! I, I don't know what we just did, but... Good, new, good news, we won. That game was super atmospheric, and it was a very tense experience, because I think the sound design was done well with the environment. I just don't really get what the whole point of it was. Now, this second game is called There is a Man in the Attic. I have no idea what we're gonna fight. Well, I do actually, a man in the attic. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room, looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother all the time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I, I said things like, somebody is there, There's there is a man here, he, he is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I am an adult now, and that horrible night Man, it's just a distant memory. There's our basis for this one, guys. There is a man in the attic. Nah, bro. I'm not. I'm not believing that crap anymore. Fib. So find our phone. We're an adult. We've lived that experience. We are done with it. Are those pesky nightmares when you're a kid, though. Like you sink deep into that rabbit hole of just believing everything that goes on in your brain. You know you. Hey, I'm doing some dialogue. Who's calling me? All right, let's go. So we're looking for our phone. Uh, it, it might be upstairs. Hang on a moment. That ringtone sounded way closer than upstairs. So give me a second. I don't need to use the bathroom right now. Surprise bowel movement. Get in there real quick. Buddy, you walking extra slow. How old are you? Like, you're taking your sweet time going around your own house. Like, I'm running downstairs when I know I gotta get something, bro. Like, why am I taking my time? Uh, hey, brother. I just wanted to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time. And it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are, and their imagination. She was probably very tired as well. See you later, take care. Hey, uh, bro, I, I forgot what, what Lily did, what happened? It's getting late, but I should clean up first. And these dudes cleaning the place for me, man. Clean table, question mark? Today, my brother came to visit, and he brought his family along. His wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically, she is my niece. It's been a while since I last seen them, so we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. After all, adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. Facts right there. I'm a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room. Showed her all the cartoon channels and left her there to watch some TV, away from the 
a boring adult. She was very grateful. All right, so we got that good niece so far. Lily seems highly respectful, so we got the plates. Um, boiler room. I don't need to go there. Surprise boiler room movement. You need to get in there. Take the plates into the kitchen. Buddy, uh, I'm not being funny. Your brother's kind of speaking like, uh, yeah, where, where's his, where's his cutlery? They just arrived. They're like, oh, I could do with a hot tea. Buddy, no kettle. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us, and that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused. Perhaps a bit frightened. We all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired, and soon after, they left for the night. I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. But he cleaned those dishes, man. Get those suds off. Focus on the normal daily tasks, and get yourself a freaking pair of curtains, bro. Wait, hold up. Why have you got an extraction fan here, but you've got no oven top? <laughs> What? Hey, man, maybe there's some of that new technology, you know, it all, all blends in together. Kind of sick. Maybe it's above my pay grade. Time to get some sleep. <sighs> yeah, bro, I'm tired, man. Any of you guys, you when I did that one? Yeah, you gotta like the video now. It's that rain outside, man. I, I love it when it rains just before I'm going to sleep. I'm a sucker for, like, ambiotic sounds, man. Like, I always have my Amazon Alexa on. Like, you know, Alexa, play rain sounds for 10 hours. Lily, you, you were just having a bad time, right? Like, you, you, were just, you were thinking incorrect things. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway before returning to the attic just like in my dreams. Hold up. Bro, you ain't up there, are you? Oh, skip. Those noises, they are coming from the attic. Nah, you can skip that. You're going to bed, sir. You're paranoid. You're closing that door. No. No, I won't. I will not do it. Uh, you know, tired, guys. You know, the brain messes with you when you're, you know, you're tired and all that. You really chose the scariest way to spend your evening, didn't you, sir? You really just went all out for this one. The attic. Get a door on this thing, bro. I don't remember leaving this door open. Don't hit me with that. Oh, okay, okay. Attic is probably the most busy room up here, though. Like, in the entire house. Nothing in your kitchen. Probably take the boxes down. This is actually creeping me out. I am... Don't blast open, man. Don't blast... Oh. Hey, what are you looking at? This is stupid. There's nothing up here. Facts, facts, go. Nope, nope. Go back to bed, man. We we got we got the owls and the birds nesting in the rooftop. You know, we're good down here. We're good. I, I ain't doing this. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. We're good. I am scared to go through this door, man. Go, go, go. Don't you dare open. Don't you dare open. Sleep. Sleep. Get some rest, man. Remember when I said I was playing tricks? I was being factual. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything. I mean, you question it once more. Okay, I feel you. It's kind of like a reality check. Wait, you're back up? He's back. Is the man in the attic real? First, we had the man in the window. Now, the man in the attic. I don't know, buddy. Hey, I'm not going to lie. You are actually starting to freak me out with this paranoia. Is the man in the attic real? Or is it just a fictional thing they've created in your head? And that little girl, it just happened to be fate, bro. Both of you guys making that thing up together. What's with this slow pan? You can't do this. Come on. What is it doing? What is it? What is it do? Oh, oh, so he was real or was he fake? Fear is subjective, but it is not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. Thank you for playing my specific fear. The man in the attic. I actually like that ending a lot more than any of the other indie games. You know, I was expecting stereotypical. <laughs> Instead, that game kind of left you on a cliffhanger. Like, was he real? Was what we were seeing at the end just the guy's imagination still? Like, and what he wants to believe? I actually, I thought that was a really, like, interesting way of portraying a little horror game or more of a horror experience. That was actually really cool. I don't believe in no man anywhere, though, guys. Like, I, I don't Surprise know. Surprise but... on the man on the floor right now. Hey, yo, wait, what the f- Yeah, boy! Ah, yes. It appears you have joined me for game number three. The Crypt Terror. Thought of me, 1336. Hey, left mouse to continue. Hold up. We're back in- Whoa, we are back in time. Three weeks ago, a curse was bestowed upon the town of Sheer Dawn. How will I get in the voice? Do I keep it? 
Okay. Livestock killed, crops desiccated, madness grew, shrieks and chant were heard from the town's forgotten catacomb. Many believed that to be the source of the town's curse. Lord Rayleigh commanded the town's clergy to go down and rid them of this evil. One by one, they entered the depths of darkness, yet none returned. Their corruption only grew, and now... By the Lord's order, it is your turn to venture down. Hey, what the freak, Lord? Hey, what? Nah, man. Fire me right now, bro. <laughs> Farewell. Hey, who said that, though? May you rid us of this evil. Look at them all, man. They in the squad. Guys, I, I don't want to do this, bro. Oh, my gosh. We got thunder coming down. We got the rain pouring on us. Hey, guys, listen, man. Y you send this me to certain death. They ain't listening, guys. They ain't listening. Yeah, this game, I downloaded this a couple of weeks back and I've been meaning to play it. It looks like a pretty terrifying experience, so eat a lantern. One step ahead of your game, look what I got. Will me down, buddies. You hear how the atmosphere just drops out, though? So, we got some evil under this town just being emitted, and we gotta rid this sucker. I'm down, I'm down. What do I have on my person? So I have a lantern. Do you equip me with the musket? What, I, what muskets invented in this year? Like, I don't know. Musket first appeared in the Ottoman Empire by 1465. Bro, we're going into this window. We just, we just got our hands, man. Hey, listen, fellas. I'm coming for you. I know you're alive down here. You just didn't want to resurface. Maybe they found Utopia instead. Maybe they were looking for the demon. And they just they just found that good old time down here. We can't run. Buddy, I can't jump either. What's wrong with you? They sent you down here for a reason, bro. They trust you. They trust in you. They think you're strong enough, but you ain't proving it. I dip down. I dip down further. I don't know if there's a way to actually correctly play this game. I'm just going to go straight in, bro. So we go down here. All right, what am I seeing? <sighs> You talk smack about me like that again, I'll come for you. Yeah, I'm the town's clergy. They call me Killer Boy 101. Bro, I got my Victorian game attack ready. Like, I've been playing with that stuff for a long time right now, bro. So what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to rid this thing. I don't see nothing. Like, guys, where you at? Dude, they're sleeping on the job. I'm, I'm about to report back up. Just be like, yeah, these guys, they just don't want to do that work. That's what it comes down to. Wait, we just did a complete loop. So we have to go down here again. Look down here. Yeah, you hear the rumbling coming in. What is that? What the freak? What is that sound? We see blood emitting from this, like, wooden stand here. There's gotta be- Oh, oh, I did not see this this time. Let's go. Left mouse. Pop it, sir. Pop it. Come on. Let's go. Buddy, pop the door. What are you doing? What are you knocking the door for? Hey, listen, Mr. Evil Crypt thing. Listen, man, I'm I'm here because I got sent down. Not because I want to be. Let's remember the facts before you start lunging at my neck. Listen, man, if you prove the fact that you're just chilling down here, I'll tell him straight up, like, you know, this dude's fine. Like, he's cool. So we've got three doors down here. Wait, we have to, like, knock on the doors a few times for it to open? Well, that was no good. That's like a trap door. Check my six. <laughs> See, I think I should close that door, guys. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, we bust all these doors down. We make our decision from here on. You see, like, I'm seeing a clean way. Why, why do I feel in... Wait, did you see... What's that? You see, there's like a glint sometimes. Oh, no, I hold out from going that way. Go in the clean way. Go in the clean way, bro. Go down this thing. Come on. Come on. Come on, you're brave. You're a big, strong soldier. Come on. You're the clergy of this town. Clergy is such a weird word, man. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, we make it down here free. We're still good. Look, we made it further than everyone else. Everyone else picking that poor choice. I see no bloodstains. We have made it the furthest officially. Wait, it's like a shrine. Okay, what is it? Like a... <gasps> this blood offering thing's been used, bro. Deeper and deeper and so we can go up or we can go... Let's go. Let's take a left, man, in case we find something kind of travel. <sighs> what the freak? Listen, I'm stuck, man. Fala turned into... So We're dealing with a Medusa down here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. Why? I don't know why this exists down here, man. Okay. Doesn't look good. I'm getting Undertale vibes from this, you know. I don't want to get pushed off this ledge. Okay. Leading on to uh, another section of this crypt. But my question is, like, but, but why, though? All right, deeper again. Sure, let's, let's just keep descending this thing. Like we got a plan, all right, guys? Like we got this figured out. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. I I'll dip through here. That's cool. You got a question, like, who dug this, you know, guys? Who's been borrowing down here, you know? Digging their way through all this muck just to try and clear themselves to the surface. Is this our escape? Is this how we get out? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I'm seeing light down there. Hold up. Maybe we didn't want to be down here. We were just straight up like... What? <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That thing bit.
baited me at the end. So if we don't look at it, we survive. So I was about to dive back into that game and try not looking at the monster, but no matter what you do, there's actually an invisible wall at that ending, so you are designed to get taken out at the end. It's just programmed that way. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of 3 Random Games. I think for this one, I'm probably gonna tone back on the editing a bit. Like, I've been putting so much effort into videos lately, bro. It's starting to burn me out a little bit. I'm not asking for sympathy, like, oh man, my job's so hard. It's got nothing to do with that. Like, I'm just having so much fun putting the extra effort into creating the videos and just them looking the way I want them to. Coming at that cost though, where it kind of burns my brain out a little bit. I still want to keep doing stuff, bro. Like, I love playing the games. I love recording. Either way though, that was another episode of 3 Random Games. A good selection. Most of them were lying on that kind of heavy build up towards the end of the game or just one highlight moment where it's just like <laughs> if you guys happen to want to play any of the games i did within this one you can check that description down below the games are always linked down there but for this one this one we're going to leave everything and this was another episode of three random games and i really hope you guys did enjoy if you did why not drop me that like creating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here i nearly forgot what i was doing right there so thanks so much for watching this video guys of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one